namaste welcome to greet tarot so how are you guys doing i hope you're doing good i hope you're having an amazing day today so if you're new here if you like my content please support my channel or if you have already supported me thank you so very much for all the love and the support guys means a lot to me thank you so very much so in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the text that i'll be using in this reading will also be listed in the description box below okay so today's uh, pick a card reading topic is your next seven to ten days so what is coming next that is the topic for today remember these are general readings as well as timely timeless reading so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you okay so i have three groups for you guys i have kept the crystal and the cards so select intuitively uh, maybe this animal spirit sparks a memory or maybe you have seen these animal spirit in your dreams then choose that one okay so if that is the case so uh, yeah so if you have been seeing these any any of these animal spirit in um, in your daily life like maybe you have been seeing a lot of wolf pictures if that is the case choose wolf right okay so anyways choose intuitively so take your time pause the video if you need to and then choose intuitively okay so for group number one it's the lapis lazuli and we have the hyena card okay hyena for group number two <clears throat> we have auto and we have carnelian and for group number three we have the wolf and the aquamarine okay so close your eyes take your time pause the video if you need to the timestamps will be given in the description box i'm going to start with group number one Group number one, if you have chosen this little happens little Zuli, let's see what is the message for you guys for the next seven to ten days. Group number one, okay. So we have the hyena, okay. With this hyena card, this next seven to ten days, take note of your goals and work, work towards it, guys. Okay, maybe for some of you, uh, you had a goal in the past, you failed. Now what you do is to hide it, hide it, like hide, hide under a sarcasm or hide like I cannot do it. I, I will not be able to do it. Even though you want to ha make it happen, you are like hiding that desire. Yeah, it's like for example, for some, some, someone who needs to, who wants to lose weight and you tried in the past and you were not able to. So what you do is to... Uh, you are like maybe when you talk to other people you will be like i tried i'll never lose weight like you make it in a very uh, comedic way but you want to have that thing you want to lose weight so uh, maybe you say it sarcastically like i cannot do it it's not my cup of tea like i cannot do it like even though you want it don't do that instead follow it go ahead believe in it that i i can do it because uh, you know if i look at myself uh, the past I used to think that I will not, never be able to lose weight and uh, sometimes I used to make fun of myself. Did that help? No. But one day I was like, I need to make a change in my life. I need to do that thing. I need to uh, work on my body. And I worked and it, it, it worked out. I lost weight, right? So uh, uh, this is very personal thing, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, I'm, I'm talking about it uh, so uh, yeah for you guys also it can be anything it can be anything it can be about your goals it can can be about your any examination that you might have failed and now you are not having the courage to take that examination again go ahead and do it it's time to follow your goals it's time to set an intention right now it's time to it's time to talk to yourself about your own desires and work towards it not talk yourself out of your desires right through sarcasm or anything like this is not possible for me i'm not meant for me right no don't do that that's the message here for you guys for the next seven to ten days okay okay the cards are on the floor you know before even starting your reading i have cards on the floor <laughs> oh, wait a second guys <laughs> look Okay, wait. Okay, let's shuffle the tarot cards for you guys. Let's see what's happening for group number one for the next seven to ten days. What's happening for my pile number one? If you are getting any chance to express your talents, 
go ahead and take that opportunity and express it. Okay, that is also coming through. Don't keep it to yourself. Come out, look, nine of swords energy, lot of stress. Like you want to achieve this goal, but at the same time you feel like that you will not be able to achieve it. So you're like, no, I'm not going to put effort because it will not come out. I, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like you feel like you will not be able to achieve it, so you're not putting in the work. And if you're not putting in the work, how are you going to achieve it? Right? So you need to think about it. Instead of worrying, you know, maybe sometimes we just worry about our weight instead of do, trying to do something for it. Yeah, in the past, we, we might have failed, but we can try again, right? Instead of worrying, instead of losing our sleep. Yeah, we have four of cups and eight of wands. Like right now with this four of cups, you're not seeing it. You're like, no, no, I will not be able to do it. My life is like that only. But when you make that choice that, yes, I can do it, things will move forward, right? I have seen that in my life. When we think that we cannot do it, we cannot do it and stress about it, nothing will change. And then one day we think, I got up and like, I will do something towards it. I will take action. And I took action and things changed for me. It will, it will definitely take a little bit of time, but you will see the change. So that's what you need to if you have an idea, work on that idea. If you have a skill, work on that skill, practice that skill. Yeah, maybe you have a talent of singing and once you sang and people made fun of it. So you are thinking that you don't have the skill and you make your, like you, you make fun of your singing, but at, the, at, but at the depth you feel like you need to sing more, you are good at singing, but you're not trying it because you feel like that you're not good at it. So you're not making the choice of learning or practicing it. So instead of uh, like instead of um, thinking like you cannot do it, think that you can do it and you can make it. And when you start doing it, things will flow. That's the message here for you guys. If you have a talent, work on that talent. You need to practice. You need to practice. You need to work towards it. And if you work, things will flow. So today, make what you can change. What you are thinking that you cannot accomplish but you want to accomplish it. What you are stressing about, guys? What you are hiding behind sarcasm? What is that? What are your deepest desires? What are your goals? What do you want to achieve? Take that first step today, guys, and things will follow. Things will move forward with this eight of wands, right? Like if you are feeling inspired, like today I want to write this poem, go ahead and write it maybe you used to enjoy writing poems when were you when you were young and then you made a decision to show your poems to some of your friends and your friends teased you and then you felt like your poems are not good and then you stopped writing you stopped practicing but you have this deepest desire of writing poems so instead of uh, working towards it you stress like you're good for nothing i cannot do that my life is uh, boring I, I i i'm not good at it blah 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 Instead, change it and take action. Practice it. Practice and practice and practice it and you will move forward. Hmm? Instead of hiding yourself uh, by making jokes or hiding like sometimes uh, and yeah, making sarcastic. Uh, yeah, sometimes being sarcastic, right? I cannot do it. I'll be very bad at it. Like maybe driving. It can be about driving as well, whatever it is. Yeah, maybe you have stopped in between and people teased you and it affected you and you thought that you will now never be able to make it happen. Try doing it. Get out and take that bold step. That's the message. And practice and practice and practice. When you practice, you, you, you will be good at it and you will win. That's the message. It will take time, but, but sitting idle will not do anything. Making fun of it will not do it, do anything, right? Hiding your desires will not do anything. Let's see for group number one, what else? Yeah, it's time to do something that makes you happy. With this house one, it's about yourself. 
It's time to be, come into this confident energy and take steps. Take baby steps. Take small, small steps with love, with kindness, not with sarcasm, not with making fun of yourself. Rather, with love, compassion, take that one step and understand that sometimes you will fail and it's okay to fail. But don't give up. Giving up should not be an option right now because you can achieve it. That's the thing. That's what spirit is telling you. So take care of yourself. Love yourself. What others say is their opinion. You don't have to take it. You do you. That's what it is right now. Okay? When we listen to other people, that is when we feel like that we are worthless and we cannot make it happen. But when we stop listening to other people, that is when we can make happen. You know, there are so many people who have uh, not listened to their parents and did an amazing job. I'm not saying you to not listen to your parents. That's not the thing. But, but sometimes our parents comes in, comes in between our goals. But they have fought and they have succeeded. There are so many stories like that, isn't it? Yeah. So what is your deepest desire? What is your goal that you want to achieve? And you feel like that goal is so far away, so you are not taking action. This is the week to take that action, to take that leap of faith, to take that bold step. Yeah. To work on your self-image, to think highly of yourself, to not think low. You're worthy, guys. Yeah, house to look at the birds. It's like you need to find, put in the work. When you put in the work, that is you, when you will see the change. It's like you are, it's all in your head that I want to do this, but I'll not be able to do it. And you, you hide it with sarcasm and you make fun of it and you, not take, you don't practice that skill. It's time to practice that skill and take action and let go of comments from other people. Do it in your way. Practice, 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 and you will be very good at it. If I, you know, when I was, uh, you know, I used to get comments like your English is not good. If I would have listened to them, I would have stopped making videos. Do you think that was, uh, that would have given me happiness if I stopped doing that? No, I tried. I'm, now also I'm trying. I'm not perfect. I'll never be perfect. It's, it's like accepting your imperfectionisms. Be imperfect. It's okay to be imperfect. My, my role here is to just convey the message. I'm not here to teach English, right? So you can just understand, right? That, that, that's what it is. But at the same time, I'm trying my best. I'm working on it. I'm in a work in progress, right? Yeah, so be that work in progress. Try, try, try. Then when you get one goal, then try more. <laughs> practice it, practice it, practice it. But put it out there. Don't be afraid of rude comments. Don't be afraid of the people who will uh, demotivate you. Don't. You have the choice uh, that you can listen or take their comments and stop doing it or ignore their comments and keep on moving and working on yourself. You have this option. And when you do that, you can build anything like the bird who is taking out the branches and uh, building the nest. You can build any foundation. If you're confident, you can. Right? That is a message for you guys here. So let's see what else for you guys for the next 7 to 10 days. Nature. Yeah, whenever you're feeling very worried, whenever you feel like you cannot control things, whenever you're feeling like, oh my God, what will happen? Like that kind of energy, go out in nature, sit in nature, meditate, ground your energy. If you cannot meditate while meditating, you're thinking more, then don't meditate. Go out, have a walk in nature, or spend some time with the person you love, you admire. Like if you have a spouse and this person is very good, you trust them, Sleep with them or like, I'm not telling, I'm so sorry, not that. I meant like hugging them and sharing your emotions. That's what I meant. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Or just sleep. Just sleep. That's what I meant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. So yeah. Like if, if your mother gives you the comfort, hug your mother and just sleep on her lap. That's what I meant, okay? That's the thing. <laughs> I have to be very clear with it. Yeah. Yeah. So it will give you that, that comfort. Yeah. If a person, if there is a person who gives you comfort, like lay on their shoulders, 
and just talk to them and then just have a quiet uh, 10 minute nap. That's the thing, okay? Or if you have a teddy bear, when you hug that teddy bear, you feel very relaxed. If you can do that, go ahead and do that. Talk to that teddy bear. It's okay. Talk your, uh, that, uh, t give that stress to that teddy bear, right? You can do that, right? That's what I meant. And look, yeah. It's so hard not to follow your dreams, follow your goals, because you have been listening to other people and you feel so worried to take action. Just practice, guys, and follow your dreams and make it happen. You will build your nest one day. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What else? Yeah, into the unknown, yes. She's going to the unknown, she doesn't have the full picture, but she's trusting spirit and she's going in. Like if you are making a choice that I want to do this thing, I'm taking action today. I don't know what my future is ahead. I don't know, I don't know. You don't have to know, just take baby steps and believe in yourself. Keep on believing, keep on working on your self-worth, keep, Keep on doing the work, keep on practicing, and you shall receive more good things. Yeah, something will surprise you, right? Yeah, it's time to, with this field of dreams, it's time to follow your dreams. It's time to manifest your dreams. It's time, not the time to hold back your goals, your dreams. It's time to take action, even though it's taking into your different, different area, like it, it's taking into a different place, and you don't know what, a store in that like what is that place going to give you you don't know that it's the unknown thing right but enjoy the unknown trust the unknown that's what it is okay so let's see and then you know sometimes going to the unknown might give you so much more so much good more good things than being in the known, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, dig the, like there is so much mysteries in our life. Sometimes we, uh, sometimes we don't even understand how powerful we are when we don't allow ourselves to go into the unknown. When we allow ourselves to go into the unknown, that is when we, we find a lot of secrets. We, uh, yeah, we find so many things about ourselves and that's what is happening. So, allow yourself. Take that leap of faith. Be bold. That's the message. Group number one. Yeah, let's see. Sai Baba has a message here. The spiritual teacher. Baba gives his de devotees what they want in the hope that they will begin to want what he wants to give them. So it's like if you have some sort of goals, go ahead. It's like Baba is giving you that vision. Take action. Take action. You're meant for this thing. Go ahead and do that. That's the message here. Right? Let's see what you need to surrender for the next 7 to 10 days. What you need to surrender. Surrender the drama. Yeah. No matter how emotional. Yeah, there are people around you who, who will come and, and discourage you or will tell you that. It will, you cannot do it, yeah. This is so big of a dream. This, you are not good at it. You are not good at dancing. How can you be a dancer? Discouraging, like the energy vampires. Let them go. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. If someone is saying something bad, let go of them. You know, don't, don't entertain them who lie, the people who love drama. Don't entertain it. If someone is not getting your point of view, if they are coming up with arguments, it's better to choose peace over arguing and wasting your time. So what is the self-care for group number one for the next seven oh, to 10 days? Self-worth, freeing yourself. 
Look how she's coming out of the cage. You're in this cage where you're not following your heart, where you're not following your dreams, where you're not changing, chasing your dreams, where you're so afraid of what other people will tell. So I am just going to follow the crowd. And this is not making you happy. This is the time to open the cage and come out of this cage and go into the unknown. And this unknown will give you so much of happiness that you never thought that big of happiness. That's what I'm getting. So this is the first step that you can take. Freeing yourself from the people who creates drama, freeing yourself from the people who just gives you that negativity, that only the people who discourage you, let them go. It's, it's not, you're just wasting your time, right? If beating yourself up worked, you would be thin, rich and happy. Try loving yourself instead. <laughs> Try loving yourself instead. As I told, maybe for some of you hiding your pain in uh, like by being sarcastic, by making fun of yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. There is no need to entertain these kinds of people. Maybe they will be laughing when you do that. What's the use? Speak highly of yourself. That's also the thing. Okay. So that's all I have for group number one, hope you enjoyed, hope this gave you some clarity, hope this gave you some motivation because I want you to uh, take charge of your life, to love yourself more, to speak highly of yourself, to believe in your dreams, to do something. Yeah, you might not be good at it now, now but by practicing, you will. You don't have to be very perfect, no need. This imperfectionism is making you unique, right? So that's the thing. That's what I'm saying here, okay? So group number one, I hope this gave you some clarity. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Number two, if you have chosen the otter and the carnelian crystal, let's see what is the message for you guys for the next seven to ten days. What's coming next for you guys? With this otter, this animal spirit, spirit is the happiest animal spirit. The, uh, the animal spirit that has a lot of playfulness so this week is the time to embrace that playfulness to come into this childlike energy to do something that makes you happy so that is the energy that you need to be in the next seven to ten days not to be so serious about life and be confident in yourself sharing your gifts with confidence right but at the same time having fun like if you have a presentation coming enjoy the work enjoy your work and Present that presentation confidently. That's what I'm getting here to be in more funful energy. That's very much important. And for others, maybe the 7 to 10 days is like a lot of fun energy. Maybe you have some events with your kids and also. So enjoy that event, okay? That's what I'm getting here with this auto here for the next 7 to 10 days. Let's start with the tarot cards. Okay, so uh, I just heard self-confidence is uh, very important. is the key to success for you guys. But at the same time, um, be in this playfulness. Be more positive about life, okay? Think positively. Whenever you're going to do something new, think positively, positively about it, okay? That will be very much good. If you think positively, things will happen positively. That is there. So let's ask tarot cards. What's happening for you guys for the next 7 to 10 days? What is the energy? Yeah, for group number 2. Smiling more, laughing more, right? Nothing is going to go wrong when you laugh more. You know, uh, sometimes our parents told us, right, that if we laugh more, something bad will happen. So we have that limited belief. Like if we laugh more, something bad will happen. And then we are thinking like that. At that time, definitely something bad happens. So don't be like that. Nothing bad is going to happen if you laugh, if you enjoy life. You're enjoying life. Laughing more is so good for our health, right? Yeah, let go of that limited belief today <laughs> that nothing is going to go wrong if you laugh more, if you enjoy your life, if there is happy, you know, sometimes we feel, oh my God, my life is so happy today. What if it, uh, if it's going to be bad tomorrow? No, nothing like that. Enjoy that time. Enjoy that present moment. Yes, in life, you will have to see the lows. You will have to see that. And it's okay because there, if there are high, there will be low. So it's okay. So enjoy your life. Okay. So don't be worried about your future or anything so this next seven to ten days enjoy enjoy okay this yeah keep on enjoying that's what the advice here is for you guys so let's see wow three of wands energy yeah you're a free bird guys so be free free yourself from all the fears 
free yourself from the limited belief that you cannot enjoy your life that life should life should be hard no life can be easy if you come into that mentality that life is easy you will see that your life is flowing and it's easy but if you're in the mentality if you're like life is tough i have to suffer every day then you will so change that thing right yeah look 10 of wands energy here yeah. maybe for some of you if you have back pain take some time out for yourself don't carry the responsibilities that is not yours look free yourself from the responsibilities that is not yours in the next 7 to 10 days guys if you are getting a travel opportunity for next 7 to 10 days because of your family responsibilities don't let go of this opportunity have fun go out and have fun like if you have kids and you're getting an opportunity to travel somewhere without your kids and you're like oh my god my kids are there uh, how can i leave it to my spouse do that do that let them handle maybe you haven't traveled for so long it's if if you haven't traveled if you haven't enjoyed if you haven't uh, caught up with your friends and all if that is the case if your friends are traveling go ahead and have that fun time have that you know maybe for some of you with this order also you are getting an opportunity to meet your old friends and they are like traveling together so they have uh, called you or maybe they will be calling you and at that time you were like no 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 i cannot come there are so many responsibilities i have kids and all i have this work i cannot take the break take that break and enjoy that free time guys okay or maybe they are uh, calling uh, maybe it's just a one day trip go ahead and do it if there is a trip coming don't avoid it don't let go of this opportunity because of your responsibilities take that free time enjoy that time ha like laughter laugh enjoy see places see the things that you haven't seen come out of that box there is so much more to see right yeah with this 10 and 21 there is a completion of a cycle for some of you like you have you have um, yeah there is an end of a chapter here maybe for some of you a project if you have a project that is very heavy in the next 7 to 10 days that is ending maybe for some of you exams are ending and you're free feeling free that's one thing so enjoy your vacation and all if you have a vacation for some of you uh, it's like a project that was very heavy it's completing so some sort of responsibilities is ending so this is a like a new phase you have learned things now you're on to this new phase so and this new phase is like before you go to the next thing what you need to do is to enjoy right because you have completed this enjoy that's what i'm getting so yes definitely there is some sort of completion uh, i can i can uh, yeah why why i cannot <laughs> i was not able to say that word i'm sorry so yeah there is some sort of completion happening you're completing a cycle now you're moving to the next one so if you have completed this thing enjoy go out have fun have a break if you can if meet up your friends go meet up laugh enjoy that's what you need to do and be confident in yourself for some of you you are like oh my god if i take this break if i take this break uh, break to enjoy things might fall apart no nothing is going to fall apart don't think like that everything will be okay you need that break you need maybe for some of you your hard work is paying off 10 of wands you have been persevering you have been giving your best yes the world is in your hands with the three of wands and the yeah we have the world and the three of wands interesting right so yes the world is in your hand you are going to complete that thing uh yeah if the, you are going to get paid for your hard work okay so that's that's then that's the message here for you guys so if you getting if you are getting an opportunity don't think too much about it take that opportunity and have fun have fun guys have fun take a break and have fun that's the thing for next 7 to 10 days let's see yeah let's see what else <clears throat> opposition yes this is imbalance a point of tension up and a power struggle so here for, for some of you yes maybe it's your energies that will will oppose like yeah i i want to go out and have fun but at the same time i have responsibilities can i do that can i take a break like it's like you are uh, like for some of you you will be talking yourself out with this good opportunities because you have responsibility so it's like there is a imbalance between your heart and mind like your heart is telling you go and have fun and your mind is like no 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 i have responsibilities i have to complete this so i cannot i cannot 
but it's but you know enjoy life is full like you haven't enjoyed for so long it's time to enjoy okay yeah that's what i'm getting here it's like you will be you will be coming in between your opportunity i feel like that you will be coming in between your uh, your happiness i feel like that with this opposition and you need to make a choice whether you need to uh, spend some quality time or just do the daily routines yeah take a break guys don't think about it too much enjoy life that's what i'm getting here for some of you maybe you will ask someone and they are like no 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 you cannot go it you have exams maybe there will be some sort of opposition but express yourself express yourself that i want to go and have fun express it whatever the result might be but you do your part okay that is one thing i'm getting here look house 3 of course early learning childhood relations the rational mind and communication the rational mind and communication right with this house 3 as i was talking meeting up with friends catching up with friends laughing going out having fun maybe yeah maybe going going to the your friends house having a l- l- relaxing time for maybe for some of you you have exams okay you have been preparing for that exams for quite a while and your exams are going to be soon over so maybe before exams you can go to your friend's house and have a break and it's okay to take a break and to come into that uh playful energy to laugh more that's to meet with your friend maybe your uh, childhood friend is in your place maybe go and meet them have a have a day out with them have a fun uh, yeah that's that's one thing don't stop yourself do that okay that's one thing i'm seeing here or maybe yeah there your child your friend might communicate and uh, they are planning some trip they are asking you out go ahead and do that okay uh, don't be caught up in your responsibilities and don't think that if you take a break you will not be able to accomplish your goals that is all on your mind you will be able to because this um, this is a period where you are enjoying will be very beneficial for you guys to relax your mind body and uh, you will come back recharged because right now with this 10 of wands i feel like for some of you you are feeling very very tired very exhausted so this break if you are getting it go ahead and do it take that break because you deserve it go travel it will be it will rejuvenate you rejuvenate you for sure okay so with this 3 of wands world i'm getting a travel opportunity is at hand so take that make use of that opportunity guys at the end you have to make the choice so yeah that's there here okay yeah a friend might give you an opportunity to travel use that opportunity yeah okay catching up with friends and having a good time do that laugh with your friends that's possible don't stop yourself yeah and if there is someone who is opposing that come out of your shell and express that that i want this i want some free time i'm exhausted tell them clearly Yeah, let's see what else for you guys for this next seven to ten days. Compassion, yeah, compassion. Be compassionate to yourself. You're so hard on yourself, guys. Yeah, look, self love. Two cards came out. I was talking about that, and then we have self love. You have been so hard on yourself. You have been trying so hard. You have been overworking. you didn't have time to take care of yourself you are stressing a lot you have not been compassionate to yourself this week next 7 to 10 days do something that makes you happy go out and have fun be more compassionate to you guys yaar you have been doing so much and that's the thing that's the thing you need to do for the next 7 to 10 days be more compassionate talk compassionate uh, compassionately to you guys with this opposition i feel it's your own energy where you're talking hard on yourself no 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 i cannot take that break uh, my goals are more important yeah yeah i have been working uh, not continuously towards them i cannot take a break i cannot take like a, a one day break yes you can take you need that you need to recharge guys and when we recharge more ideas will flow so do that okay do that take care of yourself very important do some sort of self care rituals maybe uh, self care is like with the self love talking to your friends having fun time is a self care going out shopping having fun laughing is a self care right yeah let's see yeah magic prayer maybe for some of you are praying for this thing but you 
you know manifestations work when you're doing your work at the same time you're in this relaxed state where you know that this thing will happen if you're praying continuously and then you have this limited belief that oh i have to do more and more and more and more and more and more then it will take more time so be in the flow like pray for the things that you want and let it come to you guys you take action but don't overwork you know you need to take care of yourself guys sometimes we feel like that if we do that hard work we will get the result and while you're doing the hard work if you are in this energy where you are stressing out where you are talking ill about yourself you are opposing it will not come so be in the flow pray you know we have this ask and you shall receive it yes you will receive it but you need to be in that vortex you need to feel it that you will receive it that is the key right so yeah you know commit commit to self care for some of you commit to self care guys maybe for some of you have stopped praying because you feel uh, feel like praying is useless maybe my manifestations are not coming you're getting into that stage where you're not feeling hopeful where you are like no nothing is going to work out for me i have to only hard work nothing will pay off at that time look at yourself how you are thinking how your feelings are if you are feeling like that that is the feeling is going to manifest so yeah that's the thing that's how it works yeah <laughs> it's yeah it's like that only what to do <laughs> it's like that only yeah let's see what is the messages from sai baba for you guys wow look you are under baba's protection your work your craft if you take one day break it will be very good for you guys nothing is going to go away from you okay so don't be so so harsh on yourself it's time to be passionate to yourself like compassionate to yourself and be passionate about your work but at the same time relax okay you are very protected you are very safe and baba is hearing your prayers sometimes we feel like that our prayers are not been heard nothing is manifesting no that's not the case but you need to be in this energy of faith hopefulness how you are feeling today write it down are you stressing about your work are you stressing about your exams are you stressing that you will not be able to make it are you feeling that you cannot laugh more are you feeling like you're very much serious are you feeling like life is tough how you are feeling write that emotions and release it and come into this playful energy more positive energy that's what with this author as well maybe for some of you are stressing about your health maybe you're not able to uh or maybe you're stressing about someone's health in your family but if you are stressing nothing is going to change you will only ruin your day instead be more hopeful coming come into that positive space and pray that will work wonders right your negativity will not do anything so that's the message here from baba so what do you need to surrender to group number 2 sometimes people say that i pray a lot but while you're praying do you have the belief that you will achieve that things the feeling is very important but you're praying and you're like no no this will not happen this will not happen if you're praying like that how it's going to happen okay you have two cards surrender stress of course surrender to the wisdom of your body yes you're not listening to the wisdom of your body you are over stressing about things you are overworking and that's why because you are so afraid you know when we are in fearful energy that's when we feel like nothing is under our control and that's when we feel like we need to overdo things but we we at that time we shouldn't do because this overwork will be waste of time and energy so surrender stress take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you have built in your up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center again this person is centering that's what you need to do you need to meditate and ground your energy or maybe if you are someone who is not into meditation you can go out and spend some quality time with your kids your friends and you will be able to uh, get that messages 
when you are in this relaxed state so being in the relaxed state in the positive state is very much important for you guys next seven to ten days okay listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation okay if you want some messages that is also coming through but you need to be relaxed if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you're energized and happy move forward right look look at your body if you are you know body gives us messages if you are physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious and if you are energized energized and happy move forward so i feel like this is message telling you to one thing it's like wisdom of the body it's like how our body gives us messages that's one thing for you guys i'm feeling like when you're energized and happy that is when things will move forward okay if you are if you are stressing about how this thing will come and you're focusing on the how instead of uh, giving it to the divine like i'm going to do my part let let the things that is out of my control let divine handle it like give it to the divine that you can if you can't control something give it to the divine there is no use of overworking or overstressing because it will not give you anything that's why you will you will just waste your energy that's it or waste a good day so let's see the self care for the next 7 to 10 days for group number 2 you need to come into this positive space playful energy maybe watching a comedy drama or maybe connecting with your family that is all important okay talking it out doing some self care rituals that will all help you a lot okay meditating let's see what is the self care message for group number 2 you need to work on this opposition this opposition opposition is in in your own mind and heart you are you are the one self sabotaging i feel like that you need to work on it guys let's see final messages for group number 2 doubting yourself someone is doubting there don't doubt doubt will not give you anything if you doubt yourself more doubt will manifest okay self care card for group number 2 what is the self care divine for the next 7 to 10 days yeah you have a choice you can like when you wake up you have a choice to make that day amazing to be more in the positive space or you have a choice to think about all the stresses and to think about all the things that you can't control and worry about you have a choice what is your choice that you should make and possibility you have the choice like yeah this person is having lot of good possibility you can think about all the bad things or you can think about all the good things it's up to you right so look worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome focus your attention on what could go right when you learn to imagine the best case scenario you get to enjoy and experience twice so with this two cards as i told you it's it's up to you waking up daily making a choice daily thinking that positive you know coming into that positive energy is what you need to do that is your self care that is your self care okay And that's all i have for group number 2 hope you enjoyed i will see you soon bye bye group number 3 so if you have chosen the wolf card and the aquamarine let's see what's happening for you guys for the next 7 to 10 days what is coming next okay okay with this aquamarine crystal go with the flow this next 7 to 10 days don't try to control anyone don't try to control your emotions as well let it flow okay if you're feeling like crying cry if you're feeling laughing laugh laugh you know sometimes we hold our laughter because we don't want to make anyone else bad because they are in a you know they are in a bad mood it's bad mood so sometimes you know uh, maybe for you guys there will be a situation happening where there is a family gathering and one person is uh, not having it they are they are in a bad mood and because of their bad mood don't ruin your mood that's one thing i'm getting here or for others it's like if your bad mood is ruined maybe maybe take some time out don't ruin the whole gathering you know sometimes that happen if one person is not in a good mood the whole gathering 
gets disturbed and everyone feels bad so don't let that happen okay if in the next seven to ten days because of your bad mood don't let anything else get ruined okay and if other if someone else is in a bad mood it's time to ignore and have your fun okay it's the, yeah it's their issue they have to deal deal with it because of them don't let your mood ruin that's one thing i'm getting here okay so yeah maybe you have planned something and you're like for example you have this surprise part birthday party that you have been planning and uh, you're preparing for that and one person comes and they're like why didn't you invite me so don't you know don't ruin your mood because of that person let it go okay and just do what you want to do okay so that's one thing and with this wolf energy there will be a tendency for you guys to control someone for the next seven to ten days uh, because i feel like you're a good teacher you're a good mentor uh, you guide people that is all good but you can only give the guidance you cannot control anyone right so it's important uh, you don't have to be very strict with people you know following your footsteps let them be creative okay if you're a teacher uh, don't be very strict like this is the way it should be done let them be creative let them do it in their own way okay so be open to that as well next seven to ten days uh, if you have kids um yeah maybe you have a schedule uh, plan for them maybe they have different plans like incorporate their feelings also okay so that's one thing i'm getting but definitely this next seven to ten days uh, you're someone who is a leader okay you can guide people so maybe for some of you as i told if you are planning something it will go good but don't ruin your mood because of anyone else and if there is someone some event happening don't stress about it let it will it will flow like water so don't hold like don't uh, don't uh, stress yourself out okay so that's there okay for the next 7 to 10 days let's see the tarot cards for you guys next 7 to 10 days what's happening uh let me just shuffle guys uh, i didn't feel that so let's say uh, next 7 to 10 days for group number 3 what's happening what is coming next for group number 3 divine thank you thank you out i'm seeing sunflowers maybe for some of you some sort of good luck and success is happening or maybe this event that you are planning will will ha ha execute very nicely it like people will be like wow this was so well executed thing so if you have some event if you are doing it yes it's going to go good so don't worry okay yeah oh yeah you are the magician you have all the resources to make anything happen you have the uh, you have uh, the the guidance system inside of you follow it you have every resources you have the earth you have the air you have the water you have the air water earth fire yeah everything you have you're the magician you can create anything that you want to create in your life so go ahead with your plans execute them well and don't be so worried about the result because everything will be okay okay everything will be fine okay don't worry about it okay uh let's talk more like let's let's shuffle and then talk okay guys let's see what are the cards coming out next few cards wow oh my god look at that nine of pentacles uh yeah but i feel like there will be someone who will be focusing on themselves a lot and because of it a group of people might get irritated or maybe it's you so don't let that happen so it's just an advice okay <laughs> yeah i want this this way why you didn't do this this way and getting irritated over people don't do that maybe there is someone at that time ignore but at the same time if it's you um <laughs> it's you, if it's you take your time out okay whenever you're feeling anger don't sit there just go to another room and take your time out relax and then come out when your mind is clear okay so that's there <laughs> wow king of swords very nice energies look the emperor you will be why i feel like for some of you there is some sort of event or maybe you are in a leadership position as i told with wolf also and we have the emperor here controlling everyone right so don't over control anyone i told you about it uh like maybe you wanted something in a in a way but they did it in a different way accept it maybe they 
they just put their creativity into that okay don't don't be so controlling this next seven to ten days because there is a chance with this emperor as well i'm seeing here and then we have the wolf as well so if you're a teacher don't be so strict like let the creativity come out like the kids have like yeah sometimes um, the kids are so creative they're so imaginative sometimes we don't give them that space so it's important that you give them the space uh, let them show their creativity to you it will be different but it will be it will be good right so let them have that space okay give uh, if you are a partner give this other person space this next seven to ten days they let them do it in their own way okay you cannot control anyone's emotions feelings only you can do is to give them guidance and let them do it in their own way and if they are making some mistake they have to learn it through their own experiences right we cannot do we can only give guidance we cannot do more than that for other people that that's what you need to understand for next seven to ten days you know maybe maybe you are a teacher you know what's good for them but at the same time let them experience those failures let them experience those things right uh, give it to them on what, what you can do is to give them guidance and you do that you do it very well do it okay uh, don't try to control people next seven to ten days because there is a chance for you guys with this wolf and the emperor come uh, at the back of the deck energy i feel like it okay for others maybe you are controlling your own emotions a lot next seven to ten days express it if you if someone is doing something like you know sometimes some people do things repeatedly make mistakes repeatedly and it's if, if, if it's affecting you in any way it's time to express that okay that is also there and look with this magician and nine of pentacles if you have some events planned that is going to go very beautifully it will be executing very beautifully so you don't have to worry in your career also i see you will be enjoying your fruits of labor next seven to ten days uh, in career you know if you are someone who is going to office you will be dressing well if you have a meeting that will be going very well um, if you have a presentation people will be uh, giving you good opinion about it right uh, for others maybe you will be dressing up and people will be appreciating your glow up something like that that is also something i'm seeing here if you have a business from home if you're doing that i feel like there is some sort of uh, happiness coming there also maybe you have been manifesting something some sort of money or income that is also coming your way so something that you have been manifesting you are going to receive in the next seven to ten days be prepared for that okay keep that faith alive uh, because yeah with this magician and nine of pentacles coming so there is some sort of uh, uh, some sort of uh, happiness you're feeling fulfilled you're emotionally satisfied you're getting that thing yeah i did it and with this king of swords uh, look uh, she has a star and a needle like she is taking the stars from the sky and <laughs> she's uh, moving it right and so yeah i feel like some of your wishes is coming true uh, like not all the wishes have come true but you are seeing that your wishes are going to manifest in the next seven to ten days so you're very happy the energy is looking happy or maybe for some of you you're trying some sort of manifest manifestation rituals and you're seeing little bit progress not the full you're not getting the full thing but you are understanding yes this is going to manifest things are going to go good so that's there there is a lot of hope in the next seven to ten days for you guys like there is improvement things are improving that's what i can uh, i see like you are moving towards your goals and things you can see a lot of improvement happening here okay but definitely you are going to be in your element you're doing things your way no one can control you because you will do what you feel like doing and for others there is a chance of overspending next 7 to 10 days so be in control of that as well don't overspend okay yeah you need to spend and all but uh, sometimes we overspend <laughs> so uh, take a note on that as well okay and eat healthy healthy foods because look there is so much abundance like, like there will be a lot to eat so don't overeat as well so ev everything should be in balance so this week's lo this week looks like very luxurious for, for many of you maybe you have gathering maybe you have celebrations coming that in that celebration you will be appreciated maybe you the way you look people will be like wow you look so awesome so yeah i feel like some sort of appreciation is coming your way uh, this week as well but some sort of your manifestation is definitely happening and if you're planning to do something you will have the resources to do it and make it happen okay so yeah like she has the stars to stars and she's moving right so you have you have the resources 
to make it happen. For some of you, you have this leadership qualities inside of you. You have this talents. You have this wisdom, so you can make it happen. Okay, so take small steps. Keep on moving forward. Okay, so I, I see very good week for you guys here. Let's see. Like what the astrological signs have to add to this. Let's see for the next seven to ten days. Script number three. We have, oh, we have Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Okay, cardinal signs. Like, look at the light. You're the light to so many people, as I told you. But this light should only guide. This light shouldn't control anyone, right? Let them choose their own way. You, all, what you need to do is to only show the light, okay? That's one thing I'm seeing here. Yeah, maybe for some of you, if you have any uh, creative idea, take action because that creative idea will work in your favor. So for some of you, if you are thinking whether I should do this or not, take action. You have everything inside of you. You have all the resources to take action. So be more brave, be more courageous and take action because it will work out in your favor. Okay, so that's there here with this cardinal. And again, uh, for many of you, you need to listen to the wisdom of your own body because your body is guiding you. So if you're feeling confused, ask yourself, ask your heart and your heart shall give you the answers. Okay. So let's see what else. Wow. Cancer sign. Oh, look, um, nurture, comfort and protection. You're very protected. Again, with this also, we have the hand, like universe is guiding you. The light is shown to you guys. The wisdom is very clear. Your intuition is very clear. So take action according to your intuition because this is the time where you are going to manifest your dreams one step at a time, okay? And we have this cancer energy, nurture, comfort, and protection. And we have this nine of pentacles energy as well. So there is a lot of emotional satisfaction that you are feeling next seven to 10 days. That's what I'm getting. It can be a small wish that is manifesting for you guys, but this is giving you a lot of lot of emotional satisfaction you you are feeling good you're feeling good you're feeling good about yourself when you're looking in the mirror you're happy about uh, ha happy the way you look you're feeling good you're in this positive energy uh, i feel like next seven to ten days so take care of yourself do the self-care um yeah and you're very protected your family is protected you're protected you don't have to worry about anything right so yeah uh, yeah, we have this house six. So for some of you, uh, if uh, as I told you, if you're overeating, there is a chance that you might overeat next seven to ten days. So if you are like, if you're eating, uh, if you're overeating for one meal, like at lunch you overeat. Maybe you can cut on your dinner. Maybe you can balance it out. Balance is important, right? So yeah. And while you're eating, enjoy it, okay? Don't be like, oh my God, I ate so much. Don't be guilty about it. Enjoy it. You can just cut your dinner. You can just balance it out. So that's an advice from Spirit Guides, okay? So establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. So as I told you, for some of you, there is a tendency uh, because... If someone does in their own way things, you might get irritated because you want in your own way, in a perfect way. Like if you are a person, uh, if you are a mom, okay, and you keep uh, your house in a particular way and your kids come and uh, put that painting in a different room, maybe you will get irritated. <laughs> Let them do it, okay. Let them do it in their own way. So that's just an example guys so yeah maybe sometimes we get irritated when the things change from one place to another and you're like no this thing should be there only don't do that it's just a small thing right so don't ruin your mood because of the small small things let them that, let them do it in their own way that's also there but your children if you have children if your kids uh, if uh, yeah if you're in a relationship your partner everyone your family is all safe and protected your work is protected uh, your business is protected and uh, th this week you have the chance to increase your abundance so use this energy to your highest good as well and listen to your intuition and take action that's the thing yeah there is a lot of harmony okay there's a lot of harmony coming your way in the next seven to ten days group number three let's see self-discipline is the key as i told you with your health also be self-disciplined there is a time <laughs> for some of you you might have a tendency to control people right to do uh, maybe you you are the one who is very disciplined and you will tell other people to be more disciplined uh, and in that if they are not listening to you you might get irritated and you might lose your cool and maybe you are telling yourself to discipline your own 
uh, anger, but at the same time you might fail at it. So don't let that happen uh, because other people don't lose your goal. Okay, so that's one thing. Discipline that as well. Like for some of you, disciplining, like not getting anger is also self-disciplining yourself, isn't it? So yeah, that not getting angry over small, small things, not ruining your mood for small, small things. That is all you need to work on. Uh, but I feel like keep on, if you are disciplined already, keep on going that because everything is working out in your favor. And if you are procrastinating, this week is not the time to procrastinate, okay? Do your best, guys. Yeah, put the effort. Put in the hours, put in the effort and you are going to see that wish manifesting for you guys, okay? So that's the message here. Wow, I love this. I love this actually. And then let, uh, let's see what else. For group number three for the next seven to ten days. Solitude. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for some of you, you have certain goals that uh, yeah you need to take out time uh, to work on it. Spending a little bit time with yourself might also be very necessary if you are working, like maybe for some of you are working and you're uh, having a lot of time with other people. If you're spending a lot of time with other people, at least one hour a day, uh, spend time with yourself, listening to your heart because your guide is, your heart is guiding you. Okay, so this solitude energy is necessary. Uh, maybe for with the self-discipline and solitude, maybe waking up early in the morning uh, can be a part that you can do like waking up at five o'clock and five to six you're sitting with yourself meditating writing down the things that you're feeling writing down your dreams you know you can do that kind of spiritual practice for yeah i feel like not only for the next seven to ten days i keep on continuing that and if you're someone who's already doing it continue it okay because i feel like you're receiving a lot of guidance from spirit so take action Take action. This uh, solitude energy is very much needed for you guys to recharge, to rejuvenate with this cancer as well, to nurture, self-discipline, uh, you know, self-love is all needed. Is all needed for you guys, okay? Yeah. So let's see uh, what are the messages from Sai Baba as well for you guys. What is the advice for you guys for the next 7 to 10 days from Sai Baba? Ah, uh, yeah, again the cancer and the home. Your home should be a place of rest with positive energy. And I talked about dream, writing your dreams, having a spiritual practice. Write down your dreams. Baba often conveys messages through dreams. Okay. So for some of you, maybe if it's possible, do a protection ritual uh, for, for your home. Just like uh, what I do is like I light a red candle and I put three clouds in it and uh, and I just light with the intention for the protection for my home. Maybe you can do that. Okay, that one that will be good ritual for you guys. Okay, for but the intention is very much important. So, but your yeah, if you are feeling like lot, if if in your home a lot of visitors are coming, and if you feel the energy is not the same, so maybe do this ritual. Yeah, okay, that's important. If you, maybe there is an event at your home. And the energy is a little, because a lot of people are coming into your home, so maybe the energies will be a little bit different. So use this protection ritual or any protection ritual or maybe saging your home might be very good. Okay. Uh, so that's there. And as I told you, your dreams, have a spiritual practice, guys. Write down your dreams. This next seven to 10 days, you're getting a lot of information from spirit. Write down it uh, and you will know what you want to do. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's the message here. Keep your home clean clutter free okay so next seven to ten days not only not next seven to ten days keep your home clean because when the home is clean the energy will also be very good so that's why okay so let's see next seven to ten days what you need to surrender to okay one thing you need to surrender is to uh, to if you feel like you need to control everything don't <laughs> you cannot control anything you cannot control anyone so control the need uh, surrender the need to control things okay Let's see what else. What else you need to surrender? Group number three. Oh God, you got two cards. So let's take that. Yes, look. Surrender to effortlessness. Maybe for some of you, all you need to do is self-discipline and meditate and things will flow, right? You don't have to overwork for the things that you want to manifest in your life, right? That's why the self-discipline should be about your meditation, solitude energy, spending time with yourself, coming in this positive space. That is what you need to do. And when you are in that 
that phase you know when you are meditating when you're grounding your energy when you're feeling relaxed the miracles shall follow right so yeah that's what you need to do surrender to effortlessness and surrender to miracles that 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 is making very much sense here with the self discipline and self solitude so it's like maybe for some of you if you have a kid and that kid is not listening to you because they have uh, exams and you are like over stressing and making them put effort or maybe you are teaching them and it's a lot of effort from your part maybe what you need to do is to relax tell them to do it take some time out for yourself and be in this flow energy things will be okay for you guys okay so maybe for some of you if you're putting too much effort on one thing or in a person let them go let them do it their way and you will see the miracles okay i'm just hearing this you know miracles shall follow miracles and wonder shall like yeah something like that i'm hearing wonder wonder shall never ease something like that miracles may yeah miracles follow oh i'm sorry but i heard something like that okay uh, yeah let it go <laughs> i just heard that so that's why i said stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river i told you to go with the flow with this aquamarine as well uh, yeah aquamarine is a crystal to go with the flow to be in the present moment if you can spend some time near an ocean that will be perfect for you guys as well or maybe if you have a bath uh, have some self care Uh, spend time there or in your bathroom when you're cl cleaning your, like when you're taking a bath spend some quality time there okay be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance it's talking about resistance your manifestation is coming but if you resist it it will take more time guys so be in the flow this week next 7 to 10 days all you need to do is relax spend some quality time with with yourself don't try to control anyone don't try to control your emotions go with the flow your wishes are coming true slowly keep your home uh, clean clutter free uh, be in this positive energy and the discipline is about uh, meditation i feel like about your spiritual practice okay or maybe about uh, this self care that is the thing let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen are you someone who believes in miracles then definitely the miracles will happen you will see the miracles or you don't be, if you don't believe maybe it's hard to see the miracles isn't it so yeah that's there so let's see the final messages for you guys from the self care card yeah oh uh, yeah miracles shall follow miracle and wonder never cease oh my god why i'm getting that and i'm not able to say it i'm so sorry about it i'm just it's just playing in my head <laughs> that's why okay so let's see what this um what this self care message is for you guys yeah wow look shine again nine of pentacles oh surprise wow uh take care of yourself be in this flow uh, meditate don't try to control things don't try to overwork uh, do the work be disciplined uh, but don't overwork because things are going to flow and it might uh, you will be surprised by how things are going to flow for you guys okay so that's there so yeah there is a surprise coming your way so look again the miracles so surrender to the miracles and you shall see so don't over stress about it don't overwork meditate let go of things don't try to control everything it will flow it will flow naturally okay so that's one thing don't dim your light the world needs your unique talents and give shine brightly okay keep on shining brightly keep on giving the guidance because that matter you matter okay your work matter and then we have release your expectations and be open to surprise as i told you sometimes we expect things i want things this way as i told you sometimes this can be also the thing you're controlling i want this this way only but there might be things happen like the desires that you have you will get the desires maybe in a different way so be open to that okay so yeah that's the message i have for group number 1 no group number 3 maybe there is a message for you guys in group number 1 maybe that's why i said anyways group number 3 i enjoyed your reading hope you also enjoyed uh so have a great week okay so i'll see you soon bye bye take care